In the previous video, we looked at this driver board for the uh, VU meters in my microphone preamp project. And I thought it would be nice to actually uh, fire one up and put it through its paces and see a bit of color and movement. Um, but in the meantime, I've just discovered that um, I've got a couple of these meters where I've yet to fit the, uh, the red LEDs. So I thought I'd start by doing that. Here is the uh, lamp holder as supplied with the two yellow LEDs fitted. Um, we can guess the polarity of that. Um, so what we need to do is to solder our red LEDs in place. I've got those here. So what we need is to get these into position and hold them in place so that we can, uh, we can solder those. And I've learned that they really do need to be at the same angle as the existing ones. I tried pointing them in different directions and that really didn't work at all. So that's what we need to do. Um, obviously we need to make sure we get our polarity correct. Uh, otherwise that's all going to go horribly wrong. And we just need to temporarily hold those in place while we solder them. So. Okay, so we've got a little strip of gaffer tape there. I just want to try and use the tape to hold that LED into position by itself. There we go. So the longer lead here is the anode, and I'm going to connect that to the cathode here, or I can just pick that up on the edge of there. So, let's double check again. So the shorter of these two leads is the cathode, which needs to go to the anode here. Or oh, we'll just pick it up there. Easy. Just trim off the excess and call it done. There we go. Okay, so now we can just take the gaffer tape over there. There we go. Okay. So it still fits. Now, I just want to check that we've got that right. Just going to connect that up to our semiconductor tester, which should have a go at illuminating both sets of LEDs. Beautiful. Okay, so I've just wired up our meter board to the power supply and to one of our meters. And just powered him up. And if we uh, just turn off the lights, there we go. And that's the yellow. Um, this one actually has a couple of little hot spots on the, uh, on the power. And that's with the yellow LEDs that uh, as fitted. So I think they probably need a little bit of bending to get those into a better position. Okay, so I've just connected a signal generator to the input of the uh, driver board. And I'm just gonna hit that with a one kilohertz sine wave at around about 1.2 volts RMS. And sure enough, we get a zero VU indication. And I'll just turn it off again, just to give you an idea of how that VU meter is responding in terms of time. That slow sweep we were aiming for, around about a third of a second. Okay, we've turned up the signal generator to around about 3.3 volts RMS, and now we should see a color change when we enable the output. Now, for some reason, my camera does a very poor job of displaying that color change 
So that's bright red to the eye, but the camera seems to be making it go quite yellow. I don't really understand why. Okay, we're just having a look on the scope here at um, top trace is showing the uh, signal from our signal generator and the bottom trace is showing the signal which is driving the meter. So as we can see, we've got about 600 millivolts RMS at the input and we've got about 48 millivolts um, at the output. Now, if we drop the level of the let's go by 10 dB, as you can see, we can uh, drop that input level by quite some margin. And our rectifier does a fine job of full wave rectifying that signal without a problem. Okay, so this demonstrates uh, what we showed in the previous video with the uh, action of the op amp um, and the uh, precision rectifier whereby at every zero crossing of the input signal, the output signal slews by one diode drop above and below zero and takes up the uh, forward voltage drop in the diodes. There we go. Okay, by way of demonstration, I've just uh, rigged up a mic preamp, not my mic preamp, of course. And uh, yeah, I'm just uh, driving the meter with that and uh, you can get some idea of um, how it all responds, and also if I uh, p, 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 uh, get some plosives happening there, you can see how the um, the color changing overload indicator works as well. P, 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 p. Thanks for watching.